All right, so we're right into it right now. We'll remind you this is how the game is played. The compound athletes will play these matches of 15 arrows with cumulative scoring. In case of a tie, a single arrow will be shot to break that tie. The closest to the center wins, and they'll be shooting from 50 meters. Our first semifinal match is Honda Yumika, the eighth seed, taking on the fifth seeded Jamie Van Atta. And Honda Yumika, who you see right there on your screen, is the woman of the hour because she is the one who upset Alvina Laganova this morning in the quarterfinals. That's right, and uh, I mean, she looks happy, doesn't she? She's had a, a great morning. To take out the number one seed is, uh, is a big achievement, I think, in, in its own right. So uh, she's up against Jamie now, which is a, she's a tough competitor, Jamie. Um, she's strong. She's been around a, a while in terms of the, the sport. Um, she's one of the best in the world. So um, this is going to be a tough match, I think, for, uh, for Honda in this one. It will be a tough match. Jamie Van Atta ranks second in the world. She's seeded fifth here in this tournament. She was number one back in 2009, and she won her match this morning in dramatic fashion as well, defeating Christina Berger in a shoot-off by just millimeters. It was wow. tied at 142, and just this much meant the difference. And, I, I didn't uh, see the wins. match, unfortunately, because I was practicing for myself for tomorrow, but I know how that feels to go out on a one-hour shoot-off <laughs> after... Uh, receiving that at um, the Olympic Games, so it's tough. It is it's tough. tough. But Jamie Van Anna was able to breathe the sigh of relief, and now she moves on, and she's in the semifinals, taking on the hometown favorite, Honda Yumiko, 53 years old, unranked, although she did take 17th place at the World Indoor Championships in Las Vegas Ten, last February. Nine, but eight, Jamie Van Anna will get seven. things started here, and she starts Ooh, off with down. a nine. Nice shot. Weather's conditions are great. Perfect, actually. I was going to ask from an archer's standpoint, there's a, a slight breeze, the sun is out, it's a little warm, a little bit humid, but these are uh, great conditions. These are good conditions, yeah. I, I take these conditions any day for a finals, definitely. Especially with rain in the forecast for tomorrow. <laughs> we, we did have some rain a couple of days ago, which was uh, challenging, so to speak. Jamie, you want to move your sight, I think. Very good shooting, um, just out. Just a little bit off right now. She shoots two nines on her first two arrows. And Honda Yumika with two eights. Two eights, yeah, they're both high right. I mean, um, struggling a little bit to get, get them back into the gold. Yumika had the uh, magic this morning. Nine, eight, seven. But so yeah, did Jamie two. Van Atta. So Jamie Van Atta is where she wants to be in that 10 ring. And she scores 28 points in that first end. So high right. Surprising on the um, the TV, the, uh, the the target face actually looks quite big. Um, but if you're here in real life, to see that target face over 50 meters is is absolutely tiny. And I can only imagine what it's like from 70 meters, which yeah. you'll be shooting at tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. It's different perspective as what you know what the guys get on TV as as to actually what it is in real life. Um, certainly, I had some people comment at the Olympics that came down and um, after watching me in in the, on the Monday on TV and then coming down to actually watch me at the finals on, on the on the Friday, they, they couldn't believe the difference between watching on TV and you know actually watching in real life, yeah. I've always told people that you really need to step up to the shooting line and look at that target 70 meters away and then you'll get a perspective yeah. of what it's like to try to hit a CD disc from yeah. that distance. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't give myself enough credit. You know? No, no, you go ahead and give yourself a little <laughs> bit more credit. Larry Godfrey from the UK, the United Kingdom, joining us, finished in the top 10 in the uh, London Olympics, uh, recently completed, which I thought was brilliantly done. Thank Congratulations to all of yeah. Great Britain on a job very well done. It was done. A, good, a good event, massive great event, yeah. yeah. We were pr pr you know, proud and chuffed that it went so well, to be honest. Um, you, know, you never know what to expect sometimes from these events, um, but yeah, the, the reception was great. And the following for archery was also tremendous. In fact, uh, some of the uh, early numbers in show ratings better than even basketball. Yeah, that's good. Gratifying for everybody oh, yeah. in the sport. Yeah. Honda Yumiko trailing 28-25. Struggled a little bit on that shot there. She had gotten off to a so strong start this morning in her match against Albina Laganova. In mm. fact, shot two bullseyes on her first two shots, and that's what got her going. Nine, mm. eight, seven, six. Clock winding down and a nine. 
for Jamie Van Etta. Still hanging on the right. Conditions change mm. from moment to moment, and they certainly could have changed quite a bit from this morning. Come on, I say. Here we go. Hunters find the middle. Found that sweet spot. And a big shot for Honda Yumiko. But a big shot um, by Jamie, Jamie Van Etta. She answers it, definitely. Yumiko winning this morning, 142 to 138. She took a two-point lead in the second end, built it to three points after the fourth end. Loganova shot an eight on her final arrow, and Yumiko won by four. Here she Ten. shoots 9, 10, 9 in the second Ten. end, and dead center for Jamie Van Atta. Four-point lead. I know it's never over to his over, but that's a, that's a good lead after two ends. Tough to come back from yep. that kind of an advantage, especially against an archer as good as Jamie Van Atta, who started in the sport when she was 12 years old, did not qualify for last year's World Cup final, despite winning the gold medal at stage four in Shanghai. So she's excited to be here. Wow, I didn't realize that. Yeah, that's good. Missed out on the trip to Istanbul this year. Jamie Van Adam had two medals at stage one in Shanghai, a team gold and a mixed team silver. Picked up a uh, medal at stage two in Antalya, a team gold medal. Then picked up two more medals at stage three, winning a silver medal in the women's final and a team silver as well. So five medals in 2012 and 33 World Cup medals going back to 2005. Wow. That's pretty, that's pretty good starts to 33 medals. 33 wow. medals. Speaks to her it's consistency. Impressive. Yeah, the Americans are very, very strong. Skies a little bit brighter this afternoon than they were this morning here in Tokyo. Where we're getting set for the third end. You had a good start. Good shot. Is happy with that shot? <laughs> Should be. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Ten. As should uh, Jamie Van Atta. Yep. Four points down, Honda Yumiko. Oh, good shot, good shot. Both archers finding their stride now. And Michael Parrott talked about this quite a bit this morning. You just have to keep shooting when you're down and hope that you get a chance to get back into the match. Definitely. Anything can happen in this sport. Definitely. Although, it's never over to this over. No. Although with that 10, Jamie Van Atta not letting mm -hmm. Hondo Yumiko back in, at least not at this point. You. You and a nine for Ms. Honda who did well at the World Indoor Championships in Vegas last February, unranked, 53 years old, actually will be 53 next week. But she sees Jamie Van Atta post three straight tens. It's good shooting, that, definitely. And Jamie Van Atta trying to take some of the suspense and drama out of this match early on. That was not the case this morning in her match, which went to the shootout. Now, Yumika shot three arrows, good, good strong arrows there, but. The, the group size, I think, was the size of the ten ring. So, but they were all hanging a bit to the right. She definitely could have got pop, sneaked another ten, I think, if, if the site was in a different position on that that end. Um, so she's still hanging a little bit right. Let's see whether she notices next. Game of adjustments, isn't yeah, it, Larry? Definitely. Um, I, I call it luck. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get in there, and, you, and you, if you're centered up after your first arrow, um, you know, you, you, the confidence you can get from that first arrow going straight into the middle and your group sizes stay over the 10 ring, it's, you can achieve a lot more and a lot more um, higher scores that way than uh, trying to find it throughout the match. Of course, Hondo Yumiko's first two shots were both an eight. Yeah. So it was a rough start and she's been trying to she's climb adjusted. back in yeah. since then. Yeah. It's a good shot. Though. And a nine for Jamie Van Etta. See, Jamie, there's no arrows on the left-hand side of the ten ring. But, but one, two, three, four now on the right. Right. You. You and then you look at the same target face. 
zero arrows on the left hand side of the turn ring. Ten. Nice. Nice. Ten points. Solid shot. So the computer programmer from Ohio with a comfortable five point Good lead, back. although you make us ten. Yep. Will apply a little bit of pressure right now. Good crowd on hand here in Hibia Park in the heart of downtown Tokyo. Nice. And another nice shot. So a five-point lead at 116 to 111 for Jamie Van Atta, who seems intent on making the World Cup finals. I think that's going to be tough for, uh, for Honda to come back and uh, um, take that. It's, uh, yeah, five points is, uh, is a lot in the, in the compound world now on the, you know, the shooting. Um, Maximum score 150, so there's only three arrows to go now in the form that Jamie's in. I think it's going to be hers this one. With all due respect for Honda Yumiko, yeah. who really did a, a remarkable job this morning in her match with Albina Laganova, Jimmy Van Etta got a break in yeah. the sense that she did not have to face Albina Laganova here in the semifinals. Yeah, yeah. And uh, unfortunately for uh, Honda, those eights at the beginning cost her uh, heavily. I say, you know. At this stage of the game, you, you know, this is the World Cup Finals. There's no, you don't get any time to really adjust your sights and mm -hmm. you know to get into the match. Certainly not with the compounds because this is all added up for score. In the recurve world, we we do set play, so it's it's a completely different ball game to this. You can, I was going to say you must yeah. you must prefer that. Yeah, you can miss the first six arrows of the match and go down four 0 and you could still come back it's and win it in the recurve world. Whereas the compounds all a cumulative score, so you need to be on it from from the first arrow. Now we'll be talking more about the scoring in recurve competition during the course of this webcast as well as tomorrow when Larry Gottfried and the rest of the stars of recurve competition will be center stage here at Hibia Park. Today, though, it's compound. And Jamie Van Atta Ten. trying to reach. Ooh. Ooh, and an eight, surprisingly. Luckily, she got some points to play with. <laughs> she does have a bit of a cushion. Started off this fifth and final end with a five-point lead. It's down to four now. But barring a complete collapse. Strong shot, good shot. Put the pressure on from Honda. Van Atta usually been able to come back, forget about the last shot, focus on the one Ten, nine, she's taking right here, and that's right on the line. That should be a nine. Last arrow from the pair of them. Honda looks very relaxed. Nice shot. It's Nick the 10. You can see. They'll put the asterisk up, but it looks like it's mm, 10. That's 10, yeah. All that Jamie needs is seven or better. 10, nine. Strong shot. That'll do it. That'll do, yeah. That nine finishes it off. She had the cushion, and she wins by three, 142 to 139. Well so done, Jamie. Yeah, she, she put the effort, you know, the, the good, strong start. I think that's what did it for Jamie there. Um, Got off to that three-point lead yeah. in the first end, never really looked back, ends up winning by three. Exactly, you, yeah. The, and um, that's what you need to do, I think, in this is to, st to start strong. You have to start strong. Um, Yumiko's done well, though. You know, she sh I'm impressed with it. The, she looked very good, strong there on the last three arrows. Very, very calm, very confident, um, and got a good result. And she looked strong this morning, to be honest with you. It was not Albina, and I think Albina would be the first to admit it, it was not her best effort. But uh, by the same token, I thought Honda Yumika was uh, very strong, looked confident, didn't seem to be all that surprised by it, and wasn't phased by it. She seemed perfectly comfortable yep. in that match as though she she believed yeah. that she should be winning this. She wasn't surprised, even though many of us were. Right, right, yeah. That's it, nothing to lose. Right. When you're in that situation, there's nothing to lose. You know, you're against one of the best in the world.